Welcome back to part 5 of the Stardew Factorio Multi-World. I'll link the playlist if you haven't seen it yet, but without further ado, let's begin. Looks like we have two science packs left. We've got purple and yellow. I've got a bunch of random stuff like inserters crafting just because I remember last time I had died somewhere over there and never recovered my body. So I've been trying to build up resources. We've got blues so we can start researching really anything that requires up to blues, which is good. And then I've got a little bit of a start on purple and yellow and I think the grenades are for purple. I'm curious to see about Stardew and what we can do in Stardew now, because we should be pretty close to completing the community center. All right, so let's go ahead and start by working on the community center here, which I think we should maybe, maybe be able to complete. I don't know if there's any crops that I'm missing. Apparently I'm in spring. I don't know exactly what I'm, why I went into spring. Do I have a greenhouse? I have the island I remember, so I can grow like tomato, garlic, apricot sapling, orange sapling, all this stuff at the island if I want to. Okay, so if I remember right, it's backspace to call over the tractor. We had the tractor mod, so harvesting crops is going to be super quick and easy, so might as well do it. And then, oh wow, this goes real fast. Really just sell everything, because I'm not needing any bundles. But I don't have a lot of these crops, so I need to unlock these crops somewhere. Probably the quickest way to get there, just spend a thousand gold to fall asleep is perfectly fine. I got more than enough money to spare. Do we not have any hearts with Pam? No, we don't have any. We leveled up Pam all the way, but we don't have any actual hearts with her. That's no good. I think I was marrying Emily next? Today's a rainy day. <laughs> I'm so lost, I forgot what I was doing in this. Today's a rainy day, so let's go see if I can buy the mermaid bouquet and marry Emily. Alright, we did get a mermaid pendant. I believe Emily, if I recall, was at the sewer. I have a good memory when it comes to random things like that. Alright, marry me, Emily. And we'll go to sleep with you. And then that should get us one or two more checks from 12 and 14 hearts i think two checks so to sleep for the wedding and then kind of we'll go on from there i might have to do a hint and focus myself somewhere or maybe we go into factorio and do purple because maybe that unlocks some stuff i guess we have married sebastian and i remember marrying Haley. we'll see what checks emily gets us if there's anything good oh are we having a Cutscene? 200 pieces of fiber. Well, at least that quest isn't a check, I'm pretty sure. I'm curious to see what this does. Well, it gave us friendship with her, at least. We got progressive armor, which is actually really good. So Emily actually came in handy. Progressive armor is one of the best things we can get. I think that is now modular armor. Well, if we don't have any portable solar panels, then there's not much we can do, because that's how we charge... Unfortunately, I don't think we can do anything with our modular armor just yet, but it is nice to have because I think it gives us a little more defense. I wonder if I can get purples done real fast. Because purples, I already have inserters being made somewhere and I can just kind of replicate the setup for purples. Purples are easy. They only need one inserter crafter, one constant combinator crafter, and I've already got the grenades ready over there. Okay, inserters, iron gear wheel is needed. We can make the iron gear wheels locally here. All right, iron gear wheels, circuits, iron. This can cover everything there. Okay, we've got our little inserter thing here. This is for purples. And then we also need to make constant combinators. Constant combinators are circuits and copper cable, which should be fairly easy. How many circuits does this require? Two crafters? But anyway, circuits and copper cable. Let's do it like this. Um, switch the iron gear wheel and inserter. Leave space in between. Do um, copper cable on the bottom one. Not rocket control units, copper cable. And constant combinators. And we have a nice little setup. Okay, copper is only needed there. Circuits and Copper cable need for this one. And we're gonna output them onto a belt. Go underground there, and then it's gonna go up by purples. And then that's it for purples except for oil. Crude oil is easy though. 
Crude oil is just a raw resource, which we've already been tapping into. That's a lot of pipes I have to craft. So while we wait for the pipes to craft, let's go back into Stardew and plant some seeds. Island. I mean, hearts with Pam, but we obviously we get those randomized, so we don't know when that's going to happen. Cut content pack to quest cap from harvesting the garlic. I don't know what that does. Yeah, we're almost to 14 hearts. I found my Kent hearts. For a second, I was like, oh, Kent's finally an item. And then I realized it's just Kent hearts. That's my one request for Kaido is please make Kent an item. Or even better, all of the NPCs items. All right, we're looking for Pam hearts. No Pam? No Pam whatsoever. There should be three hearts to find throughout the world. Okay, that's fine. I'm still working on that. I'm lift premium or die, continue game. I just got the cut content pack, whatever that does. Unless there's anything I can find over here that might be new. I love these loading zones, my favorite. Maybe it's this over here. This seems like it could be where the cut content. Oh, okay. We found something new in DLC quest. Okay, that's good. Okay, crude oil. Crude oil is all the way down here. And we can pipe it over to our purples. Okay, and once we hook this up, we should be able to start crafting purples, actually. Alright, purples. Now we just need inserters here. Um, why am I not crafting any inserters? This is pointing the wrong way. And I also need electronic circuits. Inserters are being made now. Hooray. Okay, so let's feed these machines here. And then we need long output. Let's do it like this. Okay, and then we can copy and paste this entire setup and keep it going. Some of these medium electric poles aren't lined up properly. I need to delete those ghosts. Okay, that looks better. And I also need inserters here. Okay, apparently robots are building some of this, which is a good thing. I didn't know I had stuff for them. If I give them more inserters and machines, then maybe they will continue. We do have purples. Purples are being made. Hooray. We're going to bring the purples over to the lab. Eventually we will have the yellows. That'll go on the same line as the purples. We're going to bring these all the way this way. Oh, look at that. They're already in line. Okay, we have purples now. So technically, if there's anything good, not Elliot Hearts, but if there's anything good that we can research, we can go ahead and do so. Traveling Merchant Saturday could be nice. I'll queue that up. Stardew, we need to divorce Emily. Because we're done with Emily. Oh, um, I think I could finish Journey of the Prairie King and Junimo Cart for some good checks. But anyway, divorce time. Very expensive. And I'll go to sleep. So I will need high techs. Utility science packs. So we need to bust over iron ore, plastic, iron sticks, and assembling machines. Okay, so iron ore is easy. We should have that over here. We can probably put it on the same belt as concrete here, because concrete isn't sharing anything, right? It's literally just concrete, so we can do iron ore alongside it. Out of stone bricks. They're all being turned into walls. I don't need that many walls, thank you. Oh boy, okay. No more walls, we're safe there now. Much left to do in Factorio? Um, not a whole lot. I'm just really um, going for the rocket now. I need to be crafting yellows first, of course. Oh, quick before this reaches over here, I need to cut it off. So I don't need iron ore. Um, I don't need... Let's do output priority right concrete. And then this should separate the iron ore and the concrete. I'm basically just belting this all the way over to the yellows. As for yellows, we need iron ore, plastic, iron stick, assembling machine two. Plastic I have being crafted over here. We'll run it alongside here. Okay, so that's gonna go over to the yellows. I'm pretty sure I'm growing an apricot sapling, but that is something I need to do. I think Harvest Apricot got me pause menu pack, which is a big deal. Okay, so mermaid time, mermaid pendant time. Still don't know if I have the beach obelisk or not, but that's fine. We move plenty fast. Oh, we need to gift them first. I haven't married Harvey yet, and I see Harvey right here, so we'll do Harvey instead of Sam. Oh, and we have 10 hearts with him. That's a good thing. Okay, Harvey, you stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move, Harvey. He's going in the saloon, isn't he? Okay, I can meet him inside the saloon. That's fine. Come on, Harvey. I'm trying to propose here. 
All right, back to the desert. Hopefully I can still get inside Sandy's. All right, Harvey, marry me. And that's all I need to do today. We can sleep for the wedding. I keep going through days. Eventually I'll get that pause menu pack because that's from harvesting an apricot. I'm pretty sure I've got one growing around the island. All right, Harvey, let's see it. All right, Harvey's easy. He just drinks coffee. Another happy marriage. Oh, I've got the cauliflower, but I don't need that. One of these is an apricot tree, right? Worst case, I grow another because I need apricot. But I think this is an apricot tree. Okay, weed should be clear. Yep, we're eliminating them one by one. And then do I need gear wheels for the blues as well? I do need more gear wheels, so we're gonna have to do it like... Gear wheel, gear wheel, assembling machine one, assembling machine two. Okay, so this works. I just need steel. Where is my closest source of steel? I have it right here with the rail, so I can splitter this and keep bussing this along. All right, Journey of the Prairie King. It changes clothes. Just kidding. Saloon. Continue Journey and Journey of the Prairie King. Well, I guess we don't have to go through the first world if I'm leaving off right here. That's good. We have nine, ten lives now. So I feel like this should be a pretty easy game. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> Anticlimatic. I got Sebastian hearts for it. So Journey of the Prairie King useless. I guess we can go on to Junimo card and see what happens here. Because progress mode and endless mode are two different things. We'll have to do endless mode for that check, but... Oh, this is such a hard jump right here. That was just a really tricky jump right there, which I couldn't do. Oh, we did get the random teleport and we ended up back at the saloon. Assembling machines are being crafted now. Um, these ones need iron. <laughs> okay, we've got selling machine twos. We've got iron sticks. We've got iron ore and plastic. I'm gonna have to meet these two belts together, aren't I? I swear this isn't, this isn't spaghetti. This isn't what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is such spaghetti. It's not what it looks like. Okay, there we go. It's combined now. What else? We just need to bring them up here. And then I'll start placing these down. And we have yellows now. Or just about. And yellows weren't too bad to make. Okay, yeah, yellows are being crafted now slowly but surely. And I can also get these grenades expanded a little bit. This is for purples. Oh, the robots can't reach the inserters here. They can reach the belt, but they aren't in range of the inserters. And you can tell by this little green box right here, green ghost thingy. Let's go for the rocket silo. And then I can release Factorio if I beat the Factorio game. And then I don't have to worry about anything else. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, for a second I thought that the atomic rocket trap was needed for it's just a bunch of traps. The atomic rocket trap leads to the debris, which leads to my grenade trap. That's no fun. Oh, Stardew passed out. Linus hearts, wizard hearts, island mailbox, and rocket silo. And now we can just leave Factorio B, probably. Trap tree? The trap tree, indeed. Okay, research is being researched now, and Harvey is being wooed. We need to woo Harvey. I need to harvest an apricot so I can go back in a DLC quest. I think I can finish today. Well, apricot tree wasn't able to grow. That's not good. Not what I'm looking for. Would you like to give birth to a progressive advanced material processing cap? Sure, Harvey. But we're giving birth to one instead of adopting one? <laughs> um, I guess Harvey and I are going to do some tinkering. Interesting. Harvey's too ashamed to even be home right now because of what we were doing last night. Oh, there he is. Are you working on our child, Harvey? Heavy tapper recipe. I don't even know what that will get me. Advanced material process. Oh, apricot tree isn't able to grow.
I could turn the parsnip into parsnip seed and try to replicate them and grow them that way because there's a bundle that requires five gold star parsnip. All right, apricot, we got the pause menu pack finally. Let's go. Oh, I'm so used to having the gold clock, which helps the island as well. That's why things are weird around here. DLC quest, regular version. Start new game. We're finally starting the game. What? Why did I die? That's no fair. I shouldn't be dying. Temporary spike? No. No temporary spike. Torio body. Okay, right over there is where my body is. Okay, Marnie, you're getting this cave carrot, whether you like it or not. Well, I'll wait until 9 a.m. because I don't think it works until 9 a.m. So let's just try to load in a DLC quest here. Okay. What? No, stop killing me. Now the cave carrot's gone missing, hasn't it? Haha, -ha, we're safe. No cave carrot lost today. I got an X. See, it was worth it. That's my Iridium X. All right, DLC quest for real this time. what I get? Pam heart. Oh, Pam hearts. Pam hearts, let's go. We're sleeping for that. We can do the cheese cauliflower and complete another bundle. Let's go. That's just what I want. I need to go get that recipe. I got an apple. Ooh, we're, we're in go mode. Apple sapling something else I needed. <gasps> Pam got us the Pam hearts we needed as well. We got Pam hearts in two different ways. Well, there's the cheese cauliflower. Let's auto sleep like a week for the other stuff. DLC quest is basically go mode right now if you look hard enough. Okay, that's good to know because we could always beat it and release it. There's my progressive advanced material processing. Okay, I got the check from Harvey, so we don't care about Harvey anymore. All right, five gold star parsnip, that's all we needed. Okay, we can do a big community center drop off now. I'm afraid to look through the mail, I'm gonna get confused. Let's just do the community center drop off first. And I think I just need blue jazz seeds. Yeah, blue jazz, five gold star blue jazz. Cheese cauliflower, we got a gun pack, but we're done with, um... Oh wait, gun, gun pack for DLC quest? Hold on, we get a gun? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why can't I just murder him? I didn't mean to... I might be dead, but there's still DLC to buy. <gasps> no, I'm committing mass murder. Oh, no. Okay, let's go to the thing over here. Okay. I guess I'm killing everyone. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but... Um, sure. Oh my, lots of coins. We just have a gun. That's so strange. Bad guy hideout ahead. Well, if I have a gun, then like... You know, I mean, that seems easy with the gun. Do I just win with the gun? Finish the fight pack? What? Is that it? I did it kind of? I'm, I'm confused. What's going on here? I did it kind of? So that, that means I didn't win because I need to do it not kind of. I need to do it like for real. Well, what else can I do in Stardew? I need hops. I need wheat. I got the artichoke. I need wheat, hops, blue jazz. I have the apple. Elliot hearts. Temporary spike. Temporary spike. No fair. Um. Okay, that's a nice little cutscene combination. What I lose? That's okay. Let's get our body first. I need the hint. Wheat seeds. Harmless plants pack in quest caps world. Hint. Jazz seeds. Collect all rare crows. Oh, that's such an annoying one to do. I'm gonna have to just hope I get a blue jazz from the traveling cart, I think. There is traveling cart for Saturdays now. Do I have another hint? I do have one more hint. Um, the last one was hop starter. Okay, it's hop starter is a research. A fairly easy research. Just finish one game. I'm working on it. I think DLC quest is the most likely one to finish right now, so we'll go back there. Finish the fight pack, that's the one. Um, collect a rare crow. You need to hint the name change pack two to beat live premium or die. Okay, the strong stuff. Oh, that's the one where I have to brew a bunch of potato juice. So I'd rather just, I think I could focus on completing Stardew. I think that's the goal, complete Stardew. And then I can release Stardew. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have received all eight of them. I think I have to place them down for it to count. I'm gonna do it in order, cause why not? There we go. All the rare crows are placed down nicely now. Now we just have to keep waiting. There's our jazz seeds, that's good. 
we need to get now we need to sleep one more day to get them in the mail. All right, this is what we're here for. We are here for finish the fight pack, which means I believe we can finish the first campaign of DLC quest. And then we're looking for a name change pack. Wheat seeds in all caps. Harmless plants pack. How do we find the location for the harmless plants pack? I'm not sure about that one. And I had to sleep for the blue jazz seeds and I can start growing those. All right, we got the jazz seeds. I can go run up to Joja. Luckily, I don't have the Joja trap because this is 4.x, not 5.x, so that's a nice thing. All right, Jazz Steve's just gonna buy a whole bunch of them. Go to the island with them. Sprinkler over here for the Blue Jazz. Just till a bunch of land. Okay, Blue Jazz takes seven days. Seven days. And we'll go into another spring so we can do the Strong Stuff quest. And my goal is to get done with Stardew. I think we can do it. I think we can complete the community center. Um, we can use this guy I forgot. And yeah, that's five gold star for sure. Okay. The strong stuff. We need potatoes. Do we have access to potatoes? Hopefully I don't have to hint potato seeds. Okay, we're good. I didn't need that many. I don't know why I bought so many. Oh, the problem is... Can we craft kegs? Okay, we can craft kegs. She needs 12. So if I do, okay, I can just craft as many as I need. These take six days and juice takes like, what, four days approximately. Okay, that's definitely more than 12. Oh, our, <laughs> the weeds are taking over the farm, but it's okay, I don't mind. All right, juice. We have seven days, so let's sleep, what, six days? All right, and then she needs it in the kitchen. Was it the Simon Says game? Okay, this is Pam's trailer, cool. I was worried we weren't gonna be able to find it. How do I remember that from like, what, six months ago? Where this was located, like vaguely? Uh, we got the name change pack, so that's good. Welcome XXX Quest Cap XXX. Good. Well, this will let us um, pass, right? Okay. That's good. Harmless Plants Pack. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to go buy that first. All right, that got us wheat seeds. So now we can sleep for the wheat seeds and buy some from Joja. It did explanation mark alias. Oh my goodness, I just realized that. <laughs> oh boy. Now our DLC quest is XXX quest cap XXX. Very nice. Well, that sucks if you're playing multiplayer and have to like um, gift somebody that. Gift somebody something. So now if I want to gift something over there, I have to type that whole thing out. And I still need to gift a bunch of coffee to DLC Quest to see what happens. I'll do that soon. I'll do that before the end of the stream for sure. Wheat seeds. I just need to grow 10 of them. We'll go back to the island. All right, wheat is four days. And then besides the wheat and... Did I grow the hops? Up starter is almost done. We're still waiting on that. We're in we're officially in go mode. I think this was it. We needed to complete the community center. And then we can release Stardew. And maybe win tonight. We'll see. We'll see if I can finish up Factorio and DLC quest or not. Okay, hop starter, we plant at the island. How long does the hop starter take? Like 10 days-ish? Back to the endless fall, I suppose. Oh, this one I think we started in winter, so maybe we should go end in winter, but nah, I like my endless fall. I have a fall addiction. Progressive follower. Cheese press. Alright, I believe we need a bunch of wheat. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. They grow back every day, so it's okay. Trying to get all my stuff organized here. Linus hearts. Kaido was wondering why I can't make mistakes like that during the race. 
Oh, I, I do. I just... I do. I do make mistakes. Okay, um... But I can still trash all this stuff here. Because we're about to beat Stardew. I think this is it. I think it's just the hops, and then ten wheat, and then one wheat. And then we're good. Oh no! Cutscene's going. Oh, my five gold star blue jazzes. I think I left those at home. They're still going. Got the hops there. Ah. All right, ten wheat. And one wheat. We completed the goal. I got an unfathomable sword pack for quest cap. Interesting. Okay, and then... Uh-oh. I'm going off into the void now. I'm so confused. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, so should I do s release? Yeah, that was expected. That was certainly expected. Um, I didn't expect to not die, but we probably... Go back to Factorio because Factorio is the important part. DLC quest and Factorio is what we focus on now. I think we're I think we're done with Stardew now because we beat the game, we released, and now I need to find my body. But the game's not over until we beat all three slots. Okay, so continue game, and then we'll see what else we can do here. Rest assured, this is a snow joke. Season pass. Okay, that's a death. Season pass. <laughs> it was my greenhouse for Stardew. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, nothing upwards. Anything up here? Oh, do you see that gamer jump right there? Just a bunch of coins. I don't see anything, any packs or anything. Come on, I want progression. Well, this looks like a tricky jump right here. I think I can just keep going to the right. Showdown zone. 200 coins. Okay. That's reasonable, we can get 200 coins. Or we can die, that works too. Are there any coins I missed back here? So we need 200 coins. Yeah, there's a bunch of coins up here. I have an idea, hold on. Kaido, I hope you're here. I'm gonna try something. We're going to Stardew. We're gonna grab some coffee. And I'm gonna do what Kaido's been wanting me to do for... a long time, get myself coffee. But I think I can use it to my advantage. All right, how many times do we have to sit through the Harvey thing? Okay, that's fair. All right, 455 coffee. Actually, let's do a stack. What the heck? Let's do a stack. I can make a stack real quick. Hops back in. Oh, I can buy coffee from the saloon. That's right. That's a good idea. Okay, sleep and then saloon tomorrow. But I have to wait until... Um, Gus is going to run the place. Oh, we got a greenhouse. All right, we got money for coffee. What's going on in Factorio? So we also need to craft a satellite. We need a bunch of... Oh, this is so good. We got free stack of uranium-235. We're saved. I was worried about that. I will have to somehow get... Um, 50 uranium rounds magazine. I believe we can craft those. Yeah, we can craft 50 of them because we have uranium-238. That's 20, 30, 40... 50. And then anything I need for the satellite, I'm going to put in this chest over here. So my uh, 100, or how much uranium was it? 58. I'll just do the whole stack in there. We need a bunch of red circuits, which I have crafted here. We've got plenty of those. We need 125 storage chests. So we need a bunch of steel first of all. That's 50... That's another 50, that's 125, and then we can craft 125 storage chests. <laughs> Kaido's here, okay. You have about a minute until Gus opens. I'm gonna buy a stack, and then we're gonna do the coffee. Alright, that's fine. We're here for the coffee. Much coffee as Gus will let me buy. We've got a stack, and now we... Gift Quest Cap. Oh, I used up all my money! No! The item's value is 150. You must pay 37,000. Okay, 37,000 is easy. I can do that real quick. I just need to sleep a week for my ancient fruit to grow again. All right, a week for my ancient fruit to grow. Okay, uh, Ginger Island Tractor. 
Alright, there we go. Sell everything. And sleep. Okay, and tomorrow we should be able to gift. Yeah, there's plenty of money. Cool. I wonder how long the coffee effect lasts in DLC quest. No, not sleep. Gift. Quest cap. Oh boy, let's... I'm not moving yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the screen to not turn black. The anticipation. The suspense. There we go. Okay. I'm flying. No. My... This is... Okay. This is hard to play. If you thought it was hard to control in... If you thought it was hard to control in Stardew, this is... A whole nother level. I wanted to just get coins. Oh, there was a pack. There was a pack. Ah. Oh, I can go like this. Amazing wall jump technique. No. I want the pack. Speed running DLC quest. Oh, this is a lost cause. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was such a gamer move. Move add pack. I am going so fast. I'm looking for coins. Well, Benny, this jump is going to be a lot easier with the moving or not. How long does this last, Kaido? I need 200 coins. Ouch. All right, um, we're still... We have like 15 minutes approximately for Factorio body. Woo! We can jump far. Okay, what I was trying to do earlier... How long? Is it permanent? Is it permanent? <laughs> oh, no. Woo! That was a nice stunt there. All right, we're at 176. We need 200. Oh, there's so many coins there. Okay, if I can get back over there, then I think we're good. This is so... <laughs> this is hard on the eyes. Okay, that was close. I know what I have to do now. I have to line myself up on that ledge right there. Okay, we're making progress. Hey, Kaido? I think I'm out of bounds. I mean, I think I can save and quit campaign, and then probably load back into live freemium or die. That worked. Aw, that reset the thing. Ooh, no fun. Well, I need coins anyway. Death link yourself. Oh, death link myself to a checkpoint. That's a good idea. Speaking of that, Factorio body needs to be recovered. Okay, 237 coins. I think we can go fight the final boss now, which I don't know if it's actually going to be a fight or if it's just going to be, you need this pack to win. Probably I need some pack to win. All right, Benny, for you, I'm going to do the hard jump. I'm going to attempt it um, wherever I access that. Like that one right there? That wasn't too bad. Anyway, I think... Showdown zone. Space, righto. Let's see what happens, I guess. Hopefully this works. I think I'll take that pickaxe and your wall jump DLC too, just to be safe. All right. Maybe I need a sword, maybe I need a gun. The DLC betrays you because it belongs to me. Okay, so this is an actual boss fight. Oh, there's a zombie sheep. At least he throws some hearts. Am I winning? I don't know if I just keep collecting coins or what do I do? I'm assuming I just keep collecting coins. Don't suppose you'd like to buy a little something to help you out? Really big sword pack? Sure, I'll buy the sword. Okay. Oh, am I gonna need more swords? That's why there's so many swords. I Because it's for the boss battle, I see. So I'm gonna need every single sword. Oh, I'm dying here. Come on, one more coin, I think. I think it's every 15. Really big sword pack. Okay, so these are archipelago things. And I don't know if I got the final sword or not. I guess we'll find out shortly. Oh, I can hit him. We have three hearts. And now we have back to full hearts. Cool. I'm guessing I probably need 25 coins for the final one. And I'm guessing it's three hits. That's usually how, you know, three is the magic number. Usually how it works. Not a big fan of the zombie sheep. <laughs> There's four of the zombie sheeps now. Oh, this is getting to be like bullet hell. I have no idea what's going on, but he's throwing me some hearts. 30? 30? Ah, unfathomable sword pack. Okay, we can buy it, we can buy it. Can we, can we kill him? Can we do it?
Uh, I missed him. Did I win? I think I won. I think I won DLC quest. I think, I think. Unless there's something I'm missing. I just sliced the world in half. That's a really big sword. Did I do it, Kaido? I guess Benny, you know as well. Did I do it? Did I win? I think I won the second campaign. I still have to do the first one, right? Sent Jazz Hearts Combat Level Resource Pack 20 Magic Bait out. So those were checks as well. I guess I just got really lucky that I found those items throughout the game. The really big sword, the big sword, and the unfathomable sword pack. I just found them at random places or else I probably wouldn't have been able to do that battle. So I guess Factorio, and then I guess we need to beat the first DLC quest. Coins collected 889 out of 889. <laughs> I guess I somehow accidentally collected all of the coins. Didn't get all of the DLC packs or reward mints, but that's fine. Continue game. Winter zone. No, I don't want to continue game. I want to go save and quit campaign. DLC quest. Continue game. I got to finish the fight pack now. That's unfortunate. I died. So now that we have finished the fight pack, we should be able to win the game, I think, is my understanding. <laughs> or we can die by sheep. All right, I got to walk all the way back up here. Grab my body, power armor, bad guy, hide out ahead. Roll is dead, so that's okay. Can't use bullets. I got my armor with my horse, that's good. Oh, my horse saved the day with its armor. That beats DLC quest, right? Just like that. <laughs> and we just have Factorio, which is pretty close. Oh, is the rocket silo recipe randomized? That's going to pose a potential problem if it is. Yeah, I guess we beat the game. Yep. Quest cap has completed their goal. <laughs> nice. We just have Factorio left. So now everything left is in Factorio. Working on that rocket silo slowly but surely. Our goal now is launching a rocket in Factorio. We beat Stardew, we beat DLC Quest, so now we just have to launch the rocket with the satellite. Okay, storage chests can go in here, 125. And then we're just weighing on those low density structures. Now, rocket silo, is the recipe randomized? We can actually find out by going into the planner. Um, and then adding it as a recipe. Oh, it's randomized. We're gonna need a bunch of stuff. We're gonna, okay, constant combinators we are making. So I can make a buffer chest over there for that one. Okay, constant combinators. I'm just gonna go like this. Filter inserter. And just steal some constant combinators right here. 45 cannon shells, explosives, plastic steel. We can craft those. I can probably craft those by hand because there's only 45 needed. I need to steal some plastic first of all. Cannon shells require two plastic, so I will need 90 plastic. That's 91 plastic, that's fine. Oh, now we're at 95. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of the plastic I don't need. Okay, 90 plastic, perfect. 45 cannon shells, good. Those will be crafting. What else do we need? We need 401 piercing shotgun shells and 55 clip explosives. 55 clip explosives. That one should be doable. We just need to grab more explosives and steel, most likely. Um, explosives I kept over here. Okay, we don't need that many. 65. 55. 55 clip explosives coming up. And then we need 401 piercing shotgun shells, which seems quite... Okay, that's actually not that bad. It's a lot. We just need copper, steel, and iron. Okay, so steel, I can steal from right here. <laughs> Get it, steel, steel. Shotgun shells, piercing shotgun shells. And those should be auto crafting. 205 light oil barrels. That's not the worst thing, I don't think. 99% on the rocket silo, 100% on the rocket silo. Let's go. Assembling machine. Oops, I didn't mean to type ass. 
I meant to look for assembling machines, which I believe is automation. Progressive automation. We need progressive train network, then progressive mine elevator, then progressive automation. That's assembling machine three. Okay, crafting the actual rocket silo. This part's gonna be tricky. Okay, so we need a bunch of underground belts. That's fair. Just keep crafting those. We need cannon shells. I have 45 cannon shells. 55 cliff explosives. Those are coming up. Five more. 613 constant combinators. Those are being crafted somewhere. The piercing shells are being crafted. We need to work on those light oils. Light oil barrels. Which hopefully these are done crafting up here. Yep, these are all done crafting, so I can probably get rid of that. Don't need this machine anymore. Um, and then I need to make a machine by the light oil to package it. And I can do it down here. Not rocket fuel, we need light oil barrel. Okay, just a few more, one more. And I think that's all we need. Because we only need to craft one rocket silo. Who knew there would be so much to do at the end of Factorio? All right, constant combinators. We got enough of them now. Shotgun shells. We're still waiting on a lot of shotgun shells here. We need like 600 of them. I really don't need science for anything else. I can probably cut off the science and just dedicate all my resources to crafting these other things. Like, what if I just took all of my iron input, all of my copper input, and just focused solely on crafting what I need to win? I think that's probably the best move right now. I'm gonna destroy this thing finally. It was time. This is where we're gonna put our rocket silo. Is there a recipe for rocket parts? Okay, if I want to make one per second. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Rocket parts are randomized. No, I've been doing all this for nothing. Oh boy. Rocket parts are randomized. Hold on, hold on. That is crazy. I forgot about that. Okay, we don't need... We don't need these being made. We don't need the speed modules being made. And... We're probably done with low density structures as well. Close all those off. I forgot that these were randomized. Okay, we've got the satellite now. The satellite I do know we need, for sure. Wow, um... I, uh, how foolish am I? Well, that's funny. Oh boy, this is gonna be a big setup. Luckily, most things just require red circuits, steel, green circuits, piercing rounds. Not terrible. Oh boy, this is this is a lot of stuff. Um, constant combinators. Okay, now we're just waiting on piercing round shotgun shells. Piercing shotgun shells. Can't believe the rocket parts are randomized. To launch the rocket. We need a thousand electric furnaces, a thousand cluster grenades, a thousand distractor capsules, and a thousand energy shields. So I better get automating. All right, one more piercing shotgun shell. Cause we need 401 and let's start crafting the rocket silo. Rocket silo. It's a big boy. I'll place it up here. And the most important thing is putting four productivity module threes inside. With my rocket silo complete, it was now time to play the waiting game and wait for my rocket parts to finish crafting. This took such a long time that chat convinced me to try out Genshin Impact. Check out the VOD for that, but for now it's time to wrap things up. After waiting around for a couple of real life hours, my rocket parts had finished crafting and it was time to launch the rocket. We're so close everybody, we're so so close. I'm just so sleepy, but we are almost there. We're at 99%! Oh, we're there, we're there! <laughs> we're finally there, we just need a few more cluster grenades. At long last, I think we're about to win. Come on, just a few more cluster grenades, that's all. That's all I need. Come on. Come on, bring them here. One more rocket part. One more rocket part and then we're done. <gasps> there it goes. There it goes. 
It's preparing. Let's watch it. Watch the rocket. There it goes. So beautiful. All right, the satellite should be in the inventory. So now all I, all I have to do is launch and we should beat the game after it launches. Hooray. There it goes. Off into the distance. We did it. Factory Cap has completed their goal. We did it. We did it, everybody. I'm going to bed. Actually, I'm going to eat some food before I go to bed. And if you haven't eaten food, go eat some food before you go to bed. Unless it's the middle of the day for you, which it very well could be because everybody's in different time zones. But anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me. And it's been a while since I actually played the Factorial Multi-World, so I'm glad I decided to pick it back up and actually finish it today. And that wraps up this series. Thanks so much for sticking around and for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.